Could you explain what your investment thesis has been on ethanol, and has it been successful? First, be careful, because our investment thesis was on biofuels, not on ethanol. Um, we have a couple of cellulosic ethanol investments. Um, we have a couple of investments that turn sugars into hydrocarbons directly. And then we have investments that turn biomass directly into crude oil. So we have a wide array of biofuels investments. And one of the mistakes people make is assume that there's only ethanol. Uh, having said that, uh, I think uh, I'm pretty bullish today that there's half a dozen technologies that today have proven enough of the technology to build a full-scale plant in biofuels. And I'm not talking about one, but half a dozen that would take something like wood waste or grasses or others, a bagasse left over from sugarcane, uh, and turn them into liquid fuels. I would say you'll see many of them appear more publicly over the next year. Uh, today, the issue isn't, is the technology ready to be deployed at large scale? Because like I said, I believe half a dozen technologies are ready to build commercial plants. It's the financial markets that won't uh, capitalize on them. And so entrepreneurs are getting very clever about it. And I'd say there's probably three or four really interesting companies that have eliminated the capital intensity problem in biofuels. Um, Amaris is a well-known one that converts... Uh, sugarcane plants. And we can just assume if you mention it, you're invested in it, right? Um, well, I, I'll talk about things I haven't invested in. I, I sort of treat them all the same. If uh -huh. they're compelling, they're compelling. Sure. Whether we got to invest in them or whether we, we, we were too dumb to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, but uh, in fact, uh, Amaris takes sugarcane ethanol plants and says, why not produce a jet fuel or an alkane or some, some other kind of fuel out of it? And I'll make a simple proposition. We'll convert your plant over. Any increase in EBITDA or earnings over what you're making with what you're producing today, which is either sugar or ethanol, will share 50-50. It eliminates the capital intensity problem if they built a pretty successful company out of it. This is Amherst's business pitch to a commercial partner? Yeah. Uh, there's been press releases on... The, their relationships in Brazil, which they've built, and this, so this is all public information. There's nothing new here. Givo, another company, has done the same with corn ethanol plants, increased the value of corn ethanol plants, not by producing corn ethanol, but by producing butanol and higher value ke chemicals from it. So there's a lot of clever stuff going on that people don't understand and will become more visible. Uh, I will say the following. A company like Kior can directly... One of our investments in Houston takes wood chips, pine waste, from sawmill operations. In fact, they're using wood, uh, Houston City wood waste today to produce at a decent scale where it's ready to commercialize, directly produce a crude oil. Nature takes a million years to take wood biomass and turn it into crude oil. They can do it in some fraction of a second. It, it feels like saying, well, the capital markets can't support this as a cop-out. The capital markets will support anything that works and nothing that doesn't work. And it, it doesn't really matter if there's a recession or not, does it? Um, you know, look, during a recession, if people aren't building power plants or refineries, they're not going to build other large facilities. So I would say the treatment for biofuels because they're first of a kind, is slightly more risk averse than you would for some other infrastructure, whether it's building a chemical plant or building a power plant. But it's not dramatically different. Remember, these things take time. It takes a couple of years to build these commercial facilities. So people who say, well, you talked about it a year ago. Where is it? Well, refineries take seven years to build. A power plant takes four or five years to build. Uh, any chemical facility will take a few years to build, and they are in process and will come along.